Well, good morning from the bridge. Good morning. Yeah. It's not so bad here in the shade. No. We like the shady spots right now. Yeah. <laughs> it's that, that time of year, folks. You just chase the shade. Mm-hmm. I decided to get up and get started real early this morning. Uh, got all the chores done because yesterday I was still out in the garden and literally had like sweat dripping into my glasses. And I was like, yeah, no, I ain't gonna do that again. <laughs> so got all the chores done and then we've just had a beautiful morning fellowshipping with Aunt Swami and Jenna before, well, before one left for work and before, after one got home from work. Yeah. Yeah. And it's, that's pretty much the mornings anymore is, you know, as Jenna's coming home from work, Swami's getting up to go to work, uh, at least on Monday through Friday, so. Jake was actually down this morning as well. I know, that was a shocker. That was more surprising than me being up early, like. <laughs> what do you mean, you up early? I was, yeah. I woke up when you got out of bed, because if you remember, I even asked you, what are you doing? You're like, oh, I can't go back to sleep. Okay, cool. I'm like, well, I'm gonna lay here a couple more minutes. Well, we know how that works. That was like two hours later. You know, what? what's that saying? Something about doing the same thing over and over again and expecting a different result? Yeah, oh, I'm insane. That's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> There's that royal blue salamander you just went back there. Yeah, we got um, a little baby salamander in there. They're cool because they have this like super blue tail. And they're, Maya's always chasing them. When you guys are asking in the background of what she's after in the wood pile it's or the this, salamanders. it's always these little salamanders and they have the cool blue tail. Yeah. Um, but it's been running up and down the deck all morning, so. Yeah, no, Jake was down this morning. Um, so was it when last Wednesday, maybe, he had taken his kitty in to get spayed. And she's just not recovering very well. Yeah. Uh, not eating, not drinking, and he loves his kitty so much. Um, so he came down this morning to get the cat carrier to uh, take her back to the doctor, to the vet. So if you're a kitty lover like we are, definitely say a prayer for his little kitty. Um, he's got such a huge heart. I know he's a big boy, but he's he's a teddy bear. Oh, the biggest and, teddy bear yeah, ever. Like, And he has a big heart for his cat. And I really hope that she turns around or they do whatever they need to do to, to get his, he'll just be heartbroken if something happens to his cat. Yeah. Um, he's only had her, what, probably six, seven months. Um, if that, uh, she just showed up yeah, on his doorstep over, one day. It, I think it's actually a little over the six months maybe because it seems like it was right before it got cold or it was starting to get cold and that was part of why like she showed up on his doorstep and just literally leave. and then wouldn't leave and he'd went back inside but then she sat outside just whining and he's like all right I can't take this anymore so he brought her in um and he's had her ever since your, yeah cats yeah. choose your owners um and he loves that cat so I'm definitely praying for a recovery for her for sure yeah i'm sure maybe something you know they they probably got to give her some antibiotics maybe there was a little infection or something like that i mean things happen uh when they have a surgery like that so hopefully mm -hmm. it's something that they can take care of and won't cost them an arm and a leg yeah and, but just uh, a beautiful day on the ridge so far today um my intent with getting up and getting chores done super early was so that we could work on the YouTube studio. Uh, but then as, even as I'm finishing chores, even as we were doing breakfast, um, it's uh, getting, we're, we're all getting notices on our phone for the heat index for today and um, the heat advisories and stuff. And it's like, by the time we drag everything out, it, I mean, it usually takes us about a good 45 minutes to get everything set up to yeah. even start building. Uh, and by the time we do that, we're we're heading into Well, time. and I know I've said it a lot of times, but I think I've, I, I've got no choice right now other than I need to bring my phone. I don't like to have the phone next to the bed. Like I always keep it downstairs on the charger, but I think I'm gonna have to just bring it up to be able to set the alarm and start getting up early. Because 
uh, things are building up and piling up project wise but and we want to get them done but it's not a heat stroke is it worth getting you know or getting a heat stroke is and it worth i know y'all are asking the question in your head and I'll, I'll answer it for you because i know you have that 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 question right here comes the sass yeah tara why don't you just wake him up y'all he's my husband i'm his wife wife i'm not his mom and i i do a lot for my husband to show my appreciation for my husband and the wifely role and waking somebody up is not part of my role unless there's an emergency or you know something like that and so i've always <laughs> told him if you want to get up you'll get up and the worst part is a lot of the times when she's getting out of bed i do wake up enough to be like hey what are you doing where are you going like oh no it's not that time yet and and i'll look at the clock and i'm like no not yet and really i just need to get up but We've been down that road, y'all. This isn't your first day. You know that I like to sleep in. And it's not that, I mean, I guess it's one of those that, I, I don't know, I guess my body just said, hey, sleep in. Like, I want to get up and, and get going, but just so we can get work done around here. So, I don't know. We've got some supplies to get. Um, we did get a couple days worth of time on Swami's shed mm -hmm. area. Got a lot cut up, and now it's going to be one of those that, in the evenings when she gets off work or even towards the weekend which i mean right now it's she needs to get it pulled out of there but i did a lot of the cutting up got it laid on the ground pulled some of the stuff out um that needed out but you know she wants to do the work too and the other thing is like we can't detract i mean we did take two days because that was her days off and worked on doing the initial clearing because i i need to be the one i mean she did cut the first tree down mm -hmm. Um, but then beyond that, it's like, yeah, no, she's not lugging around a chainsaw. Maybe one of the little battery operated ones, but even then, those are kind of... Jackson kind of ruined me letting people borrow <laughs> saws when they're not the greatest with them. Um, and he only got a nick, but he still managed to somehow cut himself. And I'm like, okay, there's just some tools that should be left to the people that know what they're doing with them. Yeah, um, but we do, we have to be careful um, in time management because um, as the ridge grows, you know, y'all know we will help every single way possible with everyone here on the ridge. Yeah. But if we spend all of our time doing for others, regardless of their family, um, we don't get anything done. And so, you know, we we try to balance that. Um, and it, and it's hard because you want to help, but yeah. at the same breath, like if, if we, if we do that, then we'll never get anything right. of our own done. So we, we do have to set a limit. Um, and we do, we do the part that we need to do. And like I said, in, in, uh, with the clearing, it was more of get the trees down and then they can work on pulling, you know, even, I mean, I, with the kids well, work and it's for hard. For you, it'll be like cutting the the things in manageable sizes. Right. That she can haul. And that's where we're at right now. I mean, other than dropping the two big trees, I still need to do that. Um, but I need to get all the little stuff and the manage, you know, the stuff that's already on the ground. So basically I set it up. She's able to go up like when she gets off work, you know, in the evening uh when it hopefully will start cooling down a little bit and even if it's just a little bit every day like and that's all part of the we talk about it a, a lot here at the ridge a lot is just that whole pride and ownership too um them yeah. wanting to do it on if their we own do it all for her, then yeah. yeah and you know that's been the same discussion even with jenna you know and and even with jake's cabin you know we did the initial structure and then he's like well hey when can we finish this whenever you want to like we got the initial structure up for you now it's on you to mm -hmm. finish it out or make changes or do whatever you're gonna do like we'll help you with the major things you know as but kind of where she was you know talking about earlier was we've got to be able to get our own projects and the studio has been taking way longer we actually 
you know, had talked about it. Um, and I normally, think in the last video. Yeah, you left normally that part it in. doesn't. It doesn't take us that long to do projects like this. But when it's something like this, where we all have roofs over our heads, you know, we're this is an extra. This is a convenience build for us to make our lives less YouTube inside our home. Uh, and yeah. it's something that we want and we desire, but it's not one of those where like, oh shoot, we have to house somebody or we have to, right. um, you know, put a roof over a head or something like that. So, uh, and clearly the garden this time of year for me, that's why you, you don't see me a lot in a lot of the videos here the last couple of times, cause I'm dealing with harvest. Um, and even the other day you and Swami worked for a couple hours clearing um, and I was inside, you know, cause I, I'd, I'd made two ba big batches of salsa. I had, um, the rabbits to debone. I had everything to can. I didn't stop until when did I take the last jar out? It was after 9 PM at night. Yeah. I was going to say it was, it was dark. Yeah. So it's not that I'm sitting in the air, soaking it up, being cool, being lazy. Um, that's our food. And we actually made another adult decision because we were supposed to be going to the demolition derby Saturday. And I started doing the math um, when things didn't, you know, I can only cut so fast. I can only jar up so fast. And I started doing the math and I'm like, babe, there's, we got to make a decision. Either I put all the jars in the fridge with the rabbits in them and we go to the derby or I go ahead and, you know, process these because each pressure cycle is 75 minutes for quarts of rabbit. And yeah, the math adds up. And so we actually made an adult decision that, yeah, we can't be running off to the derby because food is a priority. Yeah. Um, so that, and, and, and we didn't get any of it on film either, unfortunately, which we should have and we know it, but guys, yeah. The order's placed, and hopefully, I gotta check the shipping. But when I oh. ordered it, I said it was already shipped, so it should be. Coming. It, yeah, it, it was the when I initially ordered it, it said it should be here by tomorrow. So hopefully, it just shows up today or tomorrow, um, and we'll have a second camera again. Mm -hmm. You know, and not only is that gonna help us, we've been talking about it for a while, and it was just like, man, do we really? Do we really? And it, it was time. Um, yeah because this time of year is a lot of divide and conquer um you know she'll be in you know making breads canning like it's not just a hey sit around and doing crossword puzzles all day oh yeah because that day i also did a batch of the sourdough white bread that i do yeah and then i also made sesame hamburger buns for our supper uh yeah, so it's it's not that, like I'm just sitting inside doing yeah. nothing. I was working at least 12 hours that day. They worked for four, and then they took the rest of the day off. But they had the that heat was, to contend with. I'd say that was a hard four. I tell you, like, and even when I looked back at it, I'm like, really? It was only you know a few hours, but I had felt like I worked for 18. In in this heat, yeah. it's just you know, and we're. I mean, pounding water, sun up to sundown. Like, mm -hmm. a matter of fact, you know, like even most mornings, cause I'll, I'll have my water bottle, like I'll chug water as soon as I come downstairs before I even have coffee, just to try to get that much more hydration um, going. So, in the garden, that's a, that is a full-time job, guys. Like not only growing yeah. it, but then picking it and I was in there a the couple harvest. hours, a couple hours yesterday, uh, the heat, as with everywhere, everywhere across the board, we're not, it's not Oh yeah, just no, us. we're not the only ones. Um, has been, cause anytime you get above 90 degrees, it's really, really tough on tomatoes. And so um, we've been hand watering so that they get a really, really good drink of water. But then I had to go through and I did a really heavy pruning. Uh, I was so green. <laughs> I was like, cause if you don't know, your tomato plants put off a pollen that is very similar in color to this shirt right and literally i even washed my glasses this morning and now mind you that wasn't even um the day i pruned and the paper towel was covered in this color pollen but yesterday i washed my hands after coming in after a couple uh, hours in the garden doing the the heavy pruning on the tomatoes i was just covered in green bubbles <laughs> <laughs> but and 
And I will say, you know how the last one I said, I'm not a gardener uh, pro or anything. I did a major faux pas in the garden. Um, because I, I've had these peppers and I've been picking them and they got a little bit of heat. And then, but I'm like, there's supposed to be green peppers in this side of the pepper plateau. And I'm like, they're the strangest green peppers I've ever seen. Guys, they weren't green peppers. They weren't even jalapenos. They're squeaky. I'm um, sorry. They were my cayennes. And I've been prematurely picking them before they turn red. Lots of them. How I got in that bed, I don't know. I clearly thought I labeled everything perfectly and put all the hot peppers and things like that over into the, the hot pepper plateau. Apparently not. So I ruined like a lot. I'm still using them. They've got heat to them, but I wanted them so that I could dry them, you know, dehydrate them and grind them up for, you know, cayenne pepper. That's why I planted them. I didn't know. I didn't know they look like elongated green peppers as they're growing till this morning. And I Googled it. No, I pictured this. Yeah. I got did, that app you, picture. This. You took a picture with your app and yep. And sure enough, when it said cayenne, I was like, cause it only said pepper, but it listed the pe peppers that it could be. And I'm like, no. So then I got on the Google machines and I was like, cayenne pepper pictures growing or you know before ripe or yep sure enough sure enough yeah well and it was funny because yesterday <coughs> i talked to my uncle that's in north carolina and, and of course he's got his go you know he's got a pretty good sized garden for <coughs> hold on <coughs> hey quit it <coughs> no jake's back so we'll get an update Shoot. on the kitty here real quick too. But yeah, they um I was even talking to him and he's been having an issue with the heat. Um it was actually so much so that in his garden he said the soil, like where he was picking and pulling weeds and cutting them down, the soil got so hot that it was burning things up. So he actually just got to the point now where he's not even weeding the garden and he's letting the grasses grow up around it just to help protect the soil. And I'm like, yeah, we've it it's confirms that next yeah. year, I think the major improvement, other than fencing the garden in and graveling it in, right? It, but in. the major, the major, I guess, expense for next year um, for the cloth. garden is going to be the shade cloth. Yeah, we uh, we want it to do it. Living traditions do that. Yeah, living traditions. They they have gone to strictly just like in the hoop house uh, for most of it because of the protection of the. Well, here comes Jake. Well. Gave her a couple shots. Said the decision and everything looked fine. So I think the rabies shot this probably got her sick. Aw. Well, everything seems good there. She then. wasn't too happy. With oh, it. I guess she wasn't. She needed her daddy. You want to say hi to good people? Uh, howdy. How are you doing? Yeah, we were letting everyone know your kitty was sick. Yeah, she's being on right. But he felt she was in still good health and good to go. Nice. Didn't have a fever or nothing. Nice. So, yeah, I just gotta watch her for the next little bit. And... Good deal. So. Yeah, we love our animals here on the ridge for sure. Um, well, Jacob might not right yeah. now. He's covered looks, in scratches. Looks like he got a fight with a wolverine. <laughs> Look at that stuff. Yeah. Fingers you gotta, you want the fingernail clippers for kitty cats? Or did you already take a pair? She got her nails trimmed when I took her to get spayed. Oh, nice. Okay. So. All right. Bye. Well, I guess I'm gonna go eat. Have a good one. Love you. Got work today? Oh, nice. So, yeah, but I don't know what we're gonna do yet today. I mean, we we talked about it. We might just go in and do our supply run yeah. and get that done. Maybe we can get some work done this evening. We'll we'll see. It's because it's hard to um, <laughs> it's hard to take a good work day to do a supply run. Um, the way my brain works, 
it's it's a uh, it almost works like on a my time is is financial as well so it's like it's it's currency in my brain the way my brain works and if we're wasting a perfectly good work day doing a supply run then to me that's wasted currency in the form of time whereas if today we already know that there's a heat advisory um, we'll probably just be inside for the most part in the air um, it makes more sense to do that supply run today even though we don't have air but as we're moving down the road and yeah with the windows you know, while down. the wind windows open that's why I put on a hair because I have real fine thin hair and when it blows it sticks to my face because I use my castor oils and all that but uh, yeah and so I like to keep my my hair out of my face that's why I wear a hat it keeps the hair out of my eyes yeah but anyway we're gonna end this here because we know our last one on gratitude was an extremely long video I actually thought about breaking it up into two parts but I'm like nah we'll just throw it on out there yeah. so for those of you that participated in the gratuity or the <laughs> the gratitude challenge we've loved reading your answers we appreciate everyone's input um, and to hear what everyone else is thankful for and and all the the awesome uh, comments that you know we reminded people to be grateful and they needed that so there again we love our little coffee chat community guys um, we do appreciate every single one of you guys especially those that um, you know that comment and share your stories with us it it means a lot to us and we we both read through them and uh, we just couldn't be more blessed yeah so. and, it, and it's amazing and I know there's a couple uh, you know people that will comment and stuff that are like oh I'm sorry for rambling but no we're not like we that's why you know we put a lot of this stuff out especially on the coffee chat side is mm -hmm. we want to see I mean one everybody as a human nature we just need to know that we're not alone and we know we're not right we've got one another at the bare minimum so you're not really alone but you know as you start looking out into the community doing everything else there's the reminder that hey we're not the only ones having problems we're not mm -hmm. you know and our problems are insignificant to most people's problems so uh you know and we can't physically visit all y'all right but we can right here yeah and so and it, that's the but we of it. we definitely appreciate you guys doing all the comments liking sharing and uh and just that interaction and even if you're just watching and enjoying it we're we're grateful for that so yeah. all right guys we're gonna get to it we'll see you peace out